Hello friends, it's Miss Emma back with video number 9 in our Tinkercad YouTube series. And in today's video, I am going to show you how to 3D model your very own custom fidget spinners that you could print out using a 3D printer. So jumping right into today's video, I've gone ahead and opened up a new work plane, named this project Fidget Spinner, and now we can start talking dimensions because obviously we need to make a fidget spinner that's going to fit within our hands. So my suggestion is to make sure that the total width and length of your fidget spinner does not exceed around 80 millimeters, but you could always measure the span of your own fingers to see if you could change that a little bit. So to start off, we need to make sure that we're keeping in mind how large it is, but also we're gonna need to leave holes in our fidget spinner to account for the bearings. The bearings are the metal part of the fidget spinner that allows it to actually spin. So those aren't going to be printed out on the 3D printer, so there needs to be a hole there to accommodate them. And we need the hole to be exactly the right size, otherwise our fidget spinner isn't going to have the bearing inserted into it perfectly and it'll just fall out or not fit at all. So the size of those bearings, it needs to be about 22.5 millimeters, which means that whatever I insert that hole into needs to be larger than that. So I'm going to start at like 28 by 28 millimeters, and then I could go ahead and insert my whole cylinder into that. And remember that needs to be 22.5 by 22.5. And because we are looking for super exact dimensions for that ring, I can't use something like the pre-made ring tool because it only gives me the outside dimensions and not the inside, and this needs to be really precise. I do want this to be in the middle, so I'm going to use my align tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and group it right away so I don't mess this up. The other thing we need to change is how tall it is. The bearings are only seven millimeters tall, so I'm gonna leave that there. So this is going to be the center of my fidget spinner, and now there's tons of different options that I can go from here depending on what you want your fidget spinner to look like. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to make a few designs but again get creative with how you design yours. So to start I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more of these holes to say that I want more bearings for counterweight. So I'm just going to copy, actually I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I want to move this just off to the side. So what I'm actually doing is I am using my arrow key to move this over grid by grid. That way I can keep track of how far away it is so I can keep it completely symmetrical for my other side. So now they're just barely touching. I'm gonna go over one, two, three, four from there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Command D to duplicate, and now I'm just gonna go off to the other side. So I'm gonna move over to where they're just barely touching. Cool, and now I'm gonna do my four again. One, two, three, four. Now I know these holes are completely symmetrical, so my fidget spinner will be balanced, which means it's going to spin better. Now I just need some way to connect those. So if I wanted like a super simple fidget spinner where it's just three rings across, I could just go ahead and grab a box to connect those. I need the height to be the same so it matches up, so I'm changing that back to seven. And I need this length here to be the same. So I know that was 28 here. And this I just need to stretch a little ways. I think I just messed this up. And as long as it connects these, I should be good to go. I think I need to stretch it just a little bit more. Cool. The only tricky thing here is that I need to ungroup my rings so that the hole will actually cut through this new box. So I'm gonna click on each of the circles, making sure I'm just getting the circle, so I might need to zoom in a little bit. Okay, I have everything ungrouped, so now if I group the whole thing together, the holes will actually cut through. And now I have one solid object with bearing holes with the right size that could hold three bearings and spin. 
Of course, I would encourage you guys to add like indentations or little designs on this empty space here to make it customizable, but we can keep adding from here. Say you wanted this design to go all the way around, we could do something similar to what we did with our snowflake pattern by using Smart Duplicate. So if I duplicate this and then shift it a little bit, make sure it goes all the way outside of this circle here. I don't want it to go too far. Right there, that way it's not affecting my bearing hold all. And now if I duplicate this a couple more times around, ooh, that didn't quite work out. Command Z that last one and maybe rotate this one a little bit. I could go ahead and rotate these so that they are more balanced. I think that looks good. And then again, I could go ahead and group that and now I have a larger fidget spinner. You could of course also just use holes to get rid of some of these. So one thing that might be quick and easy to do is if I actually, I'm gonna go backwards to before, I'm just gonna copy and paste one of these shapes out. And then I'll go ahead and regroup this. Move it over a bit. If I wanted to do something that has more of just a three pronged fidget spinner, like is the most common design I would say for fidget spinners, it would actually be helpful for me to go ahead and cut this shape in half. So I need to see how long this is total, 92. So let's see, half of 92 would be 46. So I need a box that is 46 long and the same width as my fidget spinner, which I believe is 28. And then if I align this to the corner, I'll know that it is cutting this directly in half. So align right to this corner. And I also want to align it to the middle so I know it's cutting it. Then I'm going to go ahead and group right away. And now I have half of my fidget spinner. So the first thing I want to do is go back to complete it, which seems a little counterintuitive, but it will make sense in a second because then it'll make it easier for me to delete certain sections of my fidget spinner once I've duplicated it all the way around. So I'm going to duplicate, drag it out. I need to rotate it 180 degrees and then put these perfectly back together. The trick here though is I don't want any overlap because that is going to change the size of that original bearing hole. And then my bearing wouldn't fit, but I also don't want a hole here. Otherwise, we're gonna have issues with the cracking. Okay, I can just barely see the line there. So I wanna select both of these to smart duplicate around. So duplicate. Shift it. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it there and then just regroup with my holes. So I'm going to duplicate all the way around. And now I can select just certain ones that I want to get rid of. So maybe I want this one to be gone, this one to be gone, this one to be gone, this one. And now I know that I have my three prongs that are balanced. They are all completing this perfect circle. I'm just gonna go ahead and shift them a little bit. Oh, actually I'm gonna leave them as is. And then from here, I would go ahead and add any extra designs that I wanted. So I could actually make these a little bit more teardrop shaped by adding in extra holes. My hole ended up being a little bit too close there, so I'm gonna undo that and edit this hole here. Of 
I definitely don't want the sides to be so thin that it's possible that it would crack when I go to put my bearing in. You see all of that hard work designing your fidget spinner not pay off. Okay, let's try again grouping this. And now I have a cooler cutout design. And again, you could add those extra designs on the blank space, or maybe you could add extra things sticking out. I've seen people add letters for their initials. I've seen people add other designs like stars and trees and so forth. So I've given you a couple of different options here. You could just do three bearings side by side. You could do more of a flower pattern. You can do the classic trifold pattern. Of course, the key here is trying to make a super balanced fidget spinner so that the counterweight of the bearings will help your fidget spinner spin the best while also being super precise with the size of the bearing holes and the size of your fidget spinner in general. Otherwise, it's either not going to fit in your hand or the bearings won't get in and it won't be able to function. I hope that you guys spend some time experimenting with the, this design to create yourself a cool custom fidget spinner that you could potentially print out. If you have not already tuned into our bookmark video and voted for which figure you'd like me to model in our next video, please go ahead and vote. I think Baby Yoda is currently in the lead. Let me know which character you want to see me model in our upcoming video. We'll see you next time.